hello guys welcome back this is me maddie showing you tutorials on how to edit photos on snapseed okay uh, after a long time again guys uh, since i have not been posting many videos recently so first of all as every youtuber i would like you all to subscribe to my channel it's named as madhu prabhas where i post all of my videos on every kind of picture like landscapes portfolios uh, streets street street streets and everything uh, my main motive is to like post many of the videos and teach uh, the basic beginners uh, to how to properly edit and how to properly color correct any kind of picture using snapseed okay so guys please do do subscribe to my channel and you can put any queries you want to i would definitely love to answer them all okay so recently somebody uh, asked me to teach that how to increase the saturation of a particular point in an image not the saturation of the whole image it's only the particular point of the image okay so let me show you the comment section okay here she or he is uh, prith base okay can you please teach us how to saturate color of a particular portion in a picture not the entire picture so i replied that yes surely i would love to teach you so i promised the person to upload a video by today so i'm doing it here we go i will just remove the youtube please do subscribe to my channel and also follow me on instagram it's named as maddie m dot mother photography thank you guys so we'll start with this picture today um, it's a picture over here it's an old picture uh, which i've clicked uh, when i was home a uh, few years back okay uh, this i took with nikon d5200 so let's start the editing process here we go mr snapsy yeah okay guys so <clears throat> we'll edit it properly and let me uh, show you guys that how to properly edit an image okay let's start with the tune image hmm, we'll go with the brightness okay uh, why am i increasing the brightness over here it is because in the total image the only thing which you are missing is the image is not properly lighted it's like you can see right it's like half uh, lighted and half not lighted the uh, actually she was standing near a window so the light was coming only from the one direction so only one face of a one uh, part of the, her face was lit and another part was in black okay so i'll increase the brightness Now you might think that this is too much for an image, but it's not like that. Just wait and okay. Contrast actually there is no need of contrast in this image as I think because it's okay. I just don't want to bring the foggy effect on this image. So I'll just keep the contrast down. I'll go with the ambience. Ambience is generally used to let every part of the image with some amount of light okay so just watch look if you decrease the ambience it's the same photo as it was before so i'm gonna increase it to get like 50 yeah, that would be fine i think so and highlights uh, there is a problem if we increase the highlight over here this part of the face will also be highlighted and this part of the face also look okay but as I'm gonna show you and then that why I've been increasing the highlight this much it's because I want the image to be lit properly every part of the image okay so yes shadows now which 
area like this area right this one this particular area actually it is under shadow so I just want to uh, like do both parts of the face in the same manner okay you get to my point right okay so we'll just go and we'll start increasing the shadows okay okay yeah I think this is proper and warmth yes increased okay so I'm gonna take okay look this is this was how it was before and now it looks like this yeah and now we can go and look over the contrast if we are interested depends though yeah I think so I think it fits good okay now the selective which the question asked by one of my uh, follow in YouTube subscriber in YouTube that how to uh, increase the saturation of a particular point in an image but I would like to show you that how to increase not only the saturation but also the brightness and contrast of the particular point in the soul image okay so let me touch anywhere touch anywhere in the image where you want to increase any of the part okay like this part B why B <laughs> it's B, it stands for brightness C for contrast, S for saturation, and the last one is for structure. Okay, you just test anywhere in the image where you want to increase the brightness or something like that. You, you once it comes into the blue light, that means it's active, and once you touch anywhere, it's that means it's not active. Okay. So now what are we gonna do? Okay, we have selected the brightness that yes, we do want to increase the brightness on one part of the face. So we'll start increasing it. Okay, uh, swipe right, touch anywhere on the window and start swiping right. Look, can you guys see the change? Yes, okay, let me just increase the brightness a bit. Okay, fine. And here comes the saturation. look it's totally full and it's totally black and white as we have totally decreased the saturation so uh, I'm not gonna increase the saturation as I'm happy with what I have over here because it gives a good feel uh, contrast yes I can decrease a bit okay structure its structure is for like if you want to sharpen or like uh, bring the image totally sharp look if you increase it greens will start coming out and if you decrease it it will totally get blurred okay so i'm not using structure anywhere here that's it and i'm set the ok button and it's fine look this was the image before and as you all can see the right part of the image was totally dark was totally dark and it wasn't lit up but now it looks like this okay yeah. so i'm gonna crop to a bit look i'm fine actually this image uh, was taken by me and I've also posted it in my Instagram account so I have no new photos to edit and show you that how to increase the saturation brightness of the contrast or contrast of a particular point uh, in an image so I've used the old picture of mine okay uh, so I've, I hope that you have learned how to increase the brightness saturation of the contrast BSC in any point of the image you just ha have to select the selective tool over here this one okay and you just have to point out on the place where you want to increase it okay 
but I'm not gonna do it right now because I've already done it so I'm fine with it yeah and lens blur I think it's not necessary because it's already blurred but use a bit <coughs> The eyes are the most important factor, so we're not going to blur any part of the eye. Okay. Okay, fine. So I'm going to set OK. And we'll go with the saturation a bit. Just to bring out the colors in the image. Yeah. Now it looks perfect for me. So let's just save it and I hope that you guys have liked this video and learned a bit how to use the selective tool. It wasn't that hard, it was easy but when you, you didn't know how to use it so I sh showed you today that how to use an image. And it in an image. Okay. So I hope I have taught you how to edit okay guys actually i'm talking anything because it's late night and as i promised i have to upload a video so i've done this video i hope you all have liked it so good night take care and bye bye